These are my tools to create awesome PS3 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to spoof your DEX system 4.83 using Scent Enabler. Let's do this. So the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and check out my system version. And currently I'm running 4.82 Rebug DEX, which we'll see right here, 4.82, great. And in the video description, I'll have a link to where you can download that Scent Enabler, download it, put it on a USB thumb drive, FAT32, and then go ahead and install it from the USB setup here. And we're going to run uh, Scent Enabler version 6.1.0, and you just install that guy from that package manager. And for kicks here, let's go ahead and look into Rebug Toolbox, and let's see what is my firmware version. I expect it to say 4.82, DEX, which it is. And we'll go back to this at the end of the video just to see if this changes or not. So what we're going to do next is let's go ahead and run the Scent Enabler program. Uh, it's pretty simple to use, and you'll see in today's video how that works. So let's go ahead, run Send Enabler. And basically, once we get to the main screen, there's a section where we're going to enable Send Access. So press OK, go to SCN, PSN Options, Enable, Enable, say yes, and you're good to go. So a couple weeks ago, when I was using 4.81 DEX, actually, I was online for like a day and then Sony did their thing and then my system got banned, which was unfortunate. So since then I've learned out, I've discovered that if you're DAX 4.81 or lower, either update to 4.82, but since 4.83 came out recently, now we need to use Send Enabler to spoof our system to 4.83. So that's the reason why we're doing this, this process basically. And in the future, this newer firmware is check out store.brealogy.com to get the latest Send Enabler. Okay, so we're almost done. We're done. Reboot. After PS PS3 has rebooted, let's go ahead and check out a, our firmware spoofed version, which we'll see through the system information. So let's go ahead, log into my local account, and then let's go to system information. Oops, went down way too far. Let's go back up. System information, system settings actually, and then system information, and there we are, 4.83, great. And for kicks, let's go ahead and go to Rebug Toolbox, and let's see what that says. I expect it, actually I know it will, say 4.82 DEX, and that has remained unchanged. So if you're like 4.81 DEX maybe, Rebug, it's gonna say 4.81, that will stay the same, unless you update it, of course. So now that we're done, let's go ahead and do a quick online test. I'm gonna use PSN patch for today's purposes. You can do whatever you want, um, but I wanna do PSN patch. So let's go ahead, PSN patch, press X, hold down X until you hear the, hear the beep from the console and then the console will reboot. You can get the latest version of PSN patch or any homebrew for that matter from store.brutalogy.com. So we're almost done, just waiting for this to reboot here. After we reboot it, we can log into then. So let's go ahead and do that and let's sign in and we should be good to go. Of course, you want to play a game. Of course, mount the game first, then run the PSN patch, then sign in. So here we are. Everything is good. I'm not banned, thankfully, but you know, you do what you can, right? So that's today's video PS3 tutorial. You guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.